Hey everybody, Jason Venata here at Venata Fabrication. So today I want to talk to you all about our front spoiler for the 60 to 72 C10 pickup. This is my truck with the front spoiler on it. The reason I designed this was when I first put my roll pan on here, it made the front of my truck higher than the sides of my truck. So my roll pan and my rockers were on two different planes and as a designer, I just don't find that appealing. So I went and grabbed the spoiler off my 67 Camaro, clamped it onto the roll pan, it looked pretty killer and it finished off the edge of the roll pan. The roll pans just roll away to nothing. They have no edge to them. This gives it an edge. So this is basically a copy of a first generation Camaro. Spoiler, stretched 14 inches, and then from top to bottom, it's about an inch or so shorter. So that's the first application for it, it is on the Mod Shop Metalworks roll pan. So the second way you can install it is on a factory bumper. A factory bumper, it will not fit onto the bumper because of this area for the license plate. So you simply put it behind the bumper. You can just bolt it or self tap it right to the frame rails. It's something our customers that are running superchargers with intercoolers have found out. You take that spoiler and you move it back an inch or so, the air hits it and it shoots it right up into the intercooler. And the last application for it is <clears throat> if you have the Cooper Restorations smooth bumper or our Pro Touring bumper, it bolts right to the bumper just like the roll pan because there is no spot for the license plate. So this is, uh, got the BNCO mesh grill in there. See the turn signals. Those are filler plates we make for when you remove your turn signals. That's our Pro Touring front bumper. We have it with center duct, outer ducts, LED turn signals. We do not have it with the fog lights. That's just something I did for my personal one. And there's the front spoiler bolted right to it. I'm probably gonna paint this, uh, but do a flat clear over it. I may go to our shorter version. And that's another thing. We have three different front spoilers you'll see on the website. One's got a notch cut in the center, so it kind of mimics the rear wing. This truck here has our, it's our brand new version of the original. This one's actually shorter. This truck lays the frame on the ground and when it does, it was actually smashing the front spoiler. So this one is an inch shorter than the other design. So I gotta add this to the website. But anyway, everything I've talked about on here is available at my website, venatafabrication.com. Thanks for watching.